Harbour, the spiritual home of boating here in Australia. Not uncommon on a day like today to see the blue water of the harbour turn to white with the wake of all sorts of ships, be it ferries, sailing boats, passenger cruise lines or, or fishing boats like this one. But I can tell you on the water today there is one boat that is truly unique, one that stands out from the crowd as one of a kind. But I can promise you it's not going to be one of a kind for too much longer. It's a special occasion here on Creek to Coast as we've been given exclusive access to the absolute latest, fresh from the factory, signature 575 Runabout Fisher. And I reckon it's only fitting that we test the latest release from one of Australia's iconic boat builders, the Haynes Group, in a harbour that has a few Aussie icons of its own. Fresh from its much anticipated launch at the Sydney International Boat Show, where it wowed journos from across the country, now it's our turn to put the 575's angling crew credentials to the test. This is, after all, a boat with a knack for fighting its way to the fish. Excellent. Chance to pick up some bait on the way and take a look at some of the Southern Ocean fish that we might be catching today. Let's go and have a look. Showing us around are a couple of mad keen fishers, Stuart and Gordy from Signature. Check out how fresh these are, Dana. Are we going to eat them or fish with them? Oh, we'll fish with them, but we might eat them if that doesn't work. <laughs> With the bait on board, it's a scenic run across the harbour and then out through the heads to an artificial reef just a few k's offshore. For those unfamiliar with the history of Signature's RF series, it's the range specifically designed with anglers in mind, sacrificing cabin space for a much larger deck area to create a purpose-built fishing platform. Well, Gordy, to say that I'm mightily impressed by this boat is an understatement. I've had a, a good look around it today, and I'm not surprised that uh, Australia's boating media are impressed by it. How did it come to be? Well, basically, we had the old 575, which was, you know, pretty iconic sort of model for us. We, we sold plenty of them, and um, we had a bit of a gap in the range and the runabouts, so, um, yeah, we developed the 575 RF. Everywhere you look on this boat, there's clever engineering and technology at play. From the all-new 7th generation signature variable dead rise hull underneath, to the Garmin electronics package on the dash, and even the intelligent outboard on the back. 175 horsepower, it gets along pretty well, it does about 75 k's this thing. But um, with this fuel tank, it's got a range of um, just under 400 k. so... Even little things like this 175's got a dual charging system, so for an offshore boat yeah. where you're going out all night and there's lights on and sounders on and stuff, you know, this thing charges really well. It's got a split VSR system on it, so it'll charge your start battery and then flick over and charge your house battery. Like, they're really smart engines. Although we mightn't have been stretching the limits of the massive 180 litre kill tank today, the swells certainly provided an opportunity to test the stability of the new hull design in sloppy offshore conditions. But without much to show for our efforts, the decision is made to fire up the Suzuki and head back in, where it's heartening to see that even in style-conscious Sydney Harbour, our Susie fits right in with the local fashion trend. That's a good-sized squid, Gorda. That's right, um, a big squid. Nice big southern calamari, I'd say, Dino. Look at that. Yep. Beautiful cal calamari, isn't it? Carved it up, crumb it, and we'll have it for dinner. <laughs> If you're keen to take a closer look at the latest addition to the Signature fleet, then you're in luck, as it's going to be taking centre stage this week for the Brisbane Boat Show at the Convention Centre. Or alternatively, jump onto the Signature site to find your local dealer.